What you guys got another Windows 10 fix video here for you. Now this one has cropped up on my Windows 10 1809 and it's basically fix invalid value for registry. Now that means anytime you go to open up any images on your computer, you can't view them and basically you're going to get this error message opening up here invalid value for registry. Now there's quite a few uh, videos on YouTube that tell you to do a pretty simple fix and in my case it didn't work so I thought I'd make a video on it just to show you some of the things that you can do to try to rectify this issue. So you've got uh, some uh, things here that we're going to go through and it will take a bit of time to get through this video so we'll give it a go and I'll show you uh, what I'm going to be trying. So first off let's go start button and settings and go into the app section. Uh, we're in apps and features right now and uh, basically once we get into here we need to look for the Microsoft Photos or the Photos app and it should be in here somewhere and then once we find that we can go ahead and try to repair it because sometimes uh, this um, area gets broken and it doesn't work so I'm trying to find it here oh, there we go Microsoft Photos into advanced options here and once we get inside here we want to go ahead and hit the repair button and this will hopefully try to repair it and while we're here we're just going to go ahead and test it it hasn't worked so what I want to do is go ahead and do a reset and try to reset it and what we can do here is just try it once more just to see now you can reboot the system and try it it's uh, still not going to work uh, because I've tried it before so I'm going to go ahead and just record this and show you how uh, we're going to try and resolve this issue Okay, so next up what we're going to do here is go to the search box and we're going to type in here trouble or troubleshoot and you should see troubleshoot settings we're going to go into the troubleshoot settings pane here and look for the windows store apps and try to troubleshoot it so run the troubleshooter from here and let it go through its test to try to fix any problems that may be with that area because that windows uh, Microsoft Photos app is related to the Windows Store apps I'm just going to go ahead and try to run the troubleshoot and hopefully uh, this will fix or resolve our problem so this will take a bit of time just to run through okay it will tell you to open the apps I've already done this part so I'm not going to do this you can do this before you do the reset and repair but I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, click on this bit here and it takes you back to this location so I've already done that bit so I'm just going to go next here and let it finish off its uh, troubleshooting to see whether it can resolve it okay so we can close this off now so next up what I'm going to do here is try to uninstall the app and you can see here I'm still going to get some issues here so what I'm going to do next is go ahead and go to uh, CCleaner now the reason why I'm going through these motions here just to see whether it fixes I know these are not fixing it but for you it may well fix it so I'm going to go into tools and into uninstall and we're going to look for the Microsoft Photos app here there we go and I'm going to go ahead and uninstall this and click OK now you can install this back via the um, Windows Microsoft uh, store you just type in there Microsoft Photos and it will let you install the app so now I'm going to right click on the start button and open up PowerShell with administrator privileges and once we've got this open I'm going to type in this command here and this will go ahead and try to reinstall all of those apps for us but you can get that app and download it via the um, Windows Store there if you wish but this will just reinstall all the apps here so let's go ahead and move on to the next fix and we're going to go down to the run box and I'm going to type in here WS reset and this will reset the Windows Store and hopefully by resetting it a command prompt box will open up like this you should see that little Windows Store icon in the top left hand corner just let this run it will take a bit of time so don't close it it is working in the background uh, and it's going to try to reset your Windows Store okay and hopefully because it's related it may fix it 
and there we go so I've give that a run so now we've uh, tried that now what we're going to do next is try another fix here I'm going to open up and see if this is working so you can see it's still not working and uh, there's plenty of articles online that says doing those simple things that I've done already that fixes it and it doesn't in my case so what we're going to do here now is go down to the search box here just type in there CMD and open up the command prompt with administrator privileges and we can type in here SFC scan now and let that run now when I run this it didn't work for me but this is a common thing that you have to do you have to run this because sometimes this can fix um, problems with your Windows files so just let that run through it does take a bit of time to run uh, but it's worth doing because it could fix an issue with your machine and uh, hopefully that will uh, work out for you so just be patient and let this run through it should take about 10 or 15 minutes or longer so you can see here we've got now a verification 100% complete and everything is okay with that so what I'm going to do next is run another scan here and this one is going to uh, do the DISM uh, command so I'm going to run that on this machine and see if this uh, fixes it I'll try and uh, leave these commands in the video description for you so this one you've seen me run before it's DISM space forward slash online space forward slash clean dash image space forward slash restore health and let that run this does take a bit of time takes about 20 minutes to let it run and hopefully uh, your issue will be resolved if it's not then we can try some other stuff but we're sort of getting to the point now where uh, I'm a bit concerned because obviously I've done all these and it's not worked and I don't know why it's not working because normally that resolves a lot of the problems so we're going to go ahead and let this finish off and I will uh, see what we can do after this one so I'll just let this uh, finish off there we go and I can close this box off so next up what I want to do here is try and see if these pictures open and as you can see I'm still getting the same issue so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try something else here so I'm going to go to the search box here and we're going to open up the registry editor now what you need to do here is navigate to the path which I'll show you in a second on the screen you just need to navigate to this location here so you can see HG current user software classes then we need to go to local settings then software then Microsoft then Windows, current version, app model, then repository, families, and then inside there you're looking for the Microsoft.Windows.Photos. There'll be another number on the end of that, and that's what you need to look for inside that location, okay, right here. So once you see that location, there'll be some folders in here. Now there's only two in mine. Now sometimes you get uh, older folders in here with older dates on them and you want to delete those, okay? Um, I'll show you how to do that just right now. So I'm just going to right click on delete these ones underneath here. So if you've got a bunch of them in here, you want to remove the old ones, the old ones with the old dates. So I'm just going to remove these two just to show you. And don't worry about it because they will repopulate once you uh, open up the uh, photos app it will uh, repopulate it. I'll show you uh, right now when I do this so I'll leave this as is and you want to restart your computer at that stage uh, once you've removed those from here but let me just quickly open up the start settings and then go to apps and in apps and features we're going to look for the Microsoft photos there we go click advanced and I'm what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do reset and repair inside here and when I did this it repopulated and put those back into the registry so let me quickly show you here I'm going to go back I'm going to go up to the top here and go edit and refresh here just to show you that they've gone back in there and there you go they've repopulated now once I've done that I'm going to quickly uh, open up and see if it worked 
and unfortunately it didn't work either. So hopefully at this stage you have resolved your issue but if you're still having issues like I am then you're sort of running out of uh, options and we need to move on to another fix. So I'm going to go back into the start button and settings here and what we want to do here is we want to go into accounts we're going to set a new user account profile and the reason why I'm doing this is because I've done a lot of things on here and there's still a problem so what I'm going to do is we're going to go inside here and create a new uh, user profile uh, for this account so go into families and other users and then you can see here you've got add a family member or you can add someone else to this PC so we're going to go down and uh, add someone else uh, to this PC and uh, you can put in your username and whatever you want to call it there so call it whatever you like put in your password I'm just going to do it like so I'm going to have no password for this one and you can see now that account has been created it will be a standard account so you need to change that to administrator if you want to give it administrator privileges so I'm just going to click on this and change account type and this will allow me to now change it from a standard user to administrator and you can see it's a local account as well so I'm just going to click OK here now if we logged into this account it will then start to create um, the, the, the desktop for you and stuff like that and it should resolve your issue now if you have got uh, data on this account that you're using right now which is broken you may want to copy uh, all your user profile data over to your new account and I'll quickly show you how to back up this user profile data and move it across so we're going to close this off here and what we want to do if you want to change into that account you can do by going down to the start button there so you just click on the uh, start button here and you should see that little account you just created you can click on this and it will change into it so what I'm going to do first is go into control panel and what you're looking for is the backup and restore and you want to click on set up backup and this will start the uh, Windows backup so choose the location your destination where you want to put it and uh, so select that and once you've selected that you can then click on uh, next now let me choose is what the option you want to do and click on next and you should now see that it's going to ask you do you want to back up all of the, the uh, data for that profile which was change me uh, that was the library so if you want to copy all that data across you want to make sure you select whatever you want there click next and then click on uh, save and then and it will start the backup and run the backup and this will back up all your user profile but you don't want to obviously back up Windows because we're using Windows and that's fine and this will go ahead and start backing up all your user profile you can then restore that on your new uh, profile when you log into it and it's re been rebuilt so that's basically how you can back that stuff up and then you should have a brand new user profile that is working with all your data now if you don't want to go through all that process there as well you can also just use this which is going to use your photo viewer which was an old application and it's a registry entry which will allow you to now change what you open this uh, photo with and you'll see here choose another app so right click on it choose another app and you won't see it listed here so you may to need to click on more apps and then go down until you see Windows Photo Viewer always use this app and click that and click OK and when you open it it should open in Windows Photo Viewer now you obviously won't have to do the Photo Viewer if you've created a new user profile and stuff like that but if you don't want to create a user profile and you want to change your uh, Microsoft Photos app to uh, Windows Photo Viewer then that's basically how you can do it and that's basically how you can resolve the issue now the problem as of yet is not resolved and I still got an issue there I think there's some sort of corruption uh, going on because I tried quite a few things I even reset the permissions on it and there was some sort of problem but if you uh, follow these steps 
at the end of it all maybe the beginning one will fix your issue if it hasn't and you've had to go all the way through the end like i did and try all of these and you're still having problems then obviously create the user profile and that problem will be resolved or you can use the photo uh, windows photo viewer and that should resolve your problem anyway that's about it for this video if i do find a much more easier fix where it fixes it without doing all of those other steps then i will make another video for you guys but pretty much that's it you should be able to resolve that issue by following those steps anyway hope this one's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk so it's been a bit of a long one but in the real world that's basically how long things take sometimes to resolve an issue anyway have a great weekend and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.